Good morning, folks. For those of you in the United States, there are some severe weather warnings uh, all over the country, so check your local radar. We had an oil spill for the second time in about two weeks in a river in Venezuela. The Costa Concordia sister ship caught fire in the Indian Ocean and is now adrift. That can't be good for business. Uh, pretty good articles this morning. Uh, SpaceX Dragon and Falcon 9 assembly have been complete. This is a pretty good article. We'll put it below. Some of you may have heard that Iran is set to execute a Christian pastor. They've put that off, at least for now. Put this article below as well. This is McCain pretty much ripping the Obama administration apart. Uh, on to some more important news. The uh, Chinese are sending uh, a Navy flotilla into the Gulf of Aden. Now, this all surrounds the issue with Iran, their oil prices. Don't forget, back in 2007, it was oil prices that stagnated our, our recovery and really sent us down into that uh, really serious uh, recession there. The German debt drug dealer gave its crackhead another shot yesterday, and at least somebody had the... Uh, wisdom to realize that it was a bad idea. Coming over and looking at the solar wind uh, telemetry from ACE here, you can see in the yellow and the orange the coronal mass ejection has passed. It impacted where you see the geomagnetic storm in red right there, but we are having uh, a bit of unsettled conditions right now. This isn't all that uncommon, and it's much like an aftershock from a big quake you might see. You can see the Earth resounding back and forth between almost zero hertz and just under two. So we'll probably have to keep an eye on this for the next 24 hours. You might remember this is the Earth footprint, folks. Uh, you can see the little Earth right there. Any kind of major uh, solar eruption near that, and we will have a particle event. However, it doesn't really look like it's very likely. The major solar active regions are significantly north of it. There is a coronal hole to the left of it. That's the dark thing right there. Now, if this little magnetic filament were to rip off, uh, it would be in an Earth-facing position and would probably accelerate protons and electrons toward Earth. But other than that, folks, we've just got a few filaments, uh, a few active regions. None of them look too bad. That's the news, folks. Be safe.